Imagine an API as the blueprint for your electrical system or telephone network. It's the specification, the set of rules and protocols that tells software how to communicate. Just like you can plug any device into the electrical wiring in your house, as long as it follows the standard, anything that understands an API's specification can use it, granted it has the correct authentication. APIs are universal connectors enabling different systems and services to talk to each other. They provide a standard set of rules for communication between software. But what about an SDK? An SDK is much more than just an interface. It's the toolkit that provides everything you need to implement that API into your application. Libraries, tools, documentation, and sometimes even sample code. An SDK is like a toolbox for creating a custom system that hooks into the existing infrastructure, whether it's connecting to a telephone network or plugging into a home's electrical wiring. Think of an SDK as your custom toolkit specifically designed to make working with an API faster and easier. Let's break this down further. An API provides a set of rules, an interface for interaction between systems. It's the protocol that dictates what data is requested and how it's returned. You don't need to understand how the underlying service works. You only need to know how to send and receive data in a specific format. APIs are about communication, not implementation. An SDK, however, is an implementation tool. While an API gives you the interface, the what, an SDK provides the how. It provides libraries, code snippets, and tools to facilitate building an application that integrates that API into your product. It accelerates the development process by handling much of the setup and configuration that would otherwise fall on you. Let's say you're integrating a payment service. You can use a payment API to make requests like changing a customer's card. The API will specify what data you need to send and what the response will look like. However, you could take that API documentation and build your own custom solution for interacting with the service, perhaps writing your own code to handle requests, authentication, and responses. But if you use the SDK for that payment service, the SDK would come with pre-built libraries that help you handle those requests easily, manage authentication, and even manage errors. It takes away much of the heavy lifting and speeds up your development time. Which one should you use? It depends on your goal. If you're just looking to access a service or pull data into your app with minimal hassle, you'll likely only need an API. But if you're developing a complex application that requires custom integration, where you need specific libraries and tools to help manage requests, authentication, and responses, then an SDK is your go-to. Technically, an API alone can be enough to get the job done if you're ready to write the code, but an SDK is the shortcut that makes things much more manageable, especially if the API you're working with requires intricate handling, such as multi-step authentication or complicated data parsing. In this example, we're fetching weather data. You'll make a GET request, handle authentication if required, and manually parse the response. As you can see with an API, you manage the request, headers, and the response parsing yourself. If authentication is needed, you manually handle it as well. With the SDK, the SDK abstracts away all of the HTTP request handling, including headers and parsing. You just call the provided method, GET weather, and it handles everything for you. So APIs often require you to manually manage authentication, such as adding API keys to the headers or handling OAuth. In contrast, SDKs streamline this process by managing authentication for you. In this API authentication example, you manually include the API key in each request. Handling authentication, bearer token renewal, and expiration must be done manually. With an SDK, you just set the API key once, and the SDK handles the authentication process with each request. There is no need to manually add headers for each API call. But here's the thing. While SDKs make life easier, they also lock you into the patterns and assumptions of the SDK authors. If the SDK does things in a way that doesn't fit your architecture or project structure, you might hit limitations. Custom API integrations give you full and complete control. You can structure the calls exactly how you need them. If your application requires non-standard authentication or custom parsing of the API's data, you can build that logic yourself. However, if the API is complex or requires a lot of different interactions, the SDK will save you significant time. The trade-off is that you're trading off some flexibility for ease of use. To wrap it up, an API is the interface that defines how two systems communicate, while an SDK is the tool set that helps you build software around that interface. APIs enable integration, while SDKs accelerate and simplify implementation. If you're just calling a service and need its data, you're working with an API. But if you need a full-fledged application that integrates that service deeply, 
and SDK is the way to go.